Manini, who he's finished in his first two races in this series, 15th and 15th. And he comes in here on a course that maybe is closer to some others he might be yes. familiar with. And he wins the pole, and <laughs> there he is leading the race and gap in second place. Yeah, he's really comfortable on this Second place runner, Louis Foster, eating a little bit of time yeah. 
out of uh, Matteo Nanini's lead, but not much. He had the fastest lap last time around for the entire field, but he's only trimmed a couple of tenths off the Nanini lead as they work lap 13 of 35. Ooh, car got a little squirrely there watching Jones there. He had to fight that steering wheel moments ago. Jagger Jones, the uh, 20 year old, of course you mentioned the family history. Yeah. His racing path has been a little different than some as well. Stretch. Let's watch him get into that turn seven. The snake section of the course. Not to be confused with the snake pit. Right. That wouldn't be a good combination there, would it? <laughs> oh, I'm sure the snake pit will be hopping soon before you know it. is correct and in about 10 laps he'll, he'll be there. He'll be right there to challenge with uh, 21 laps to go. Who needs these fancy computers to no. calculate all that stuff? Come on. Give me some nice round numbers. I got it. I'm all over it. As AJ Foy calls it, those pewters. Who needs a pewter? <laughs> again in May is so much fun as Nadini trying to bring it home he's got 20 to go he has not had a challenge yet he's had a clean line but can he keep it together with Foster in pursuit the lead under a second now I don't know if he got off course or had some sort of a problem but Christian Vogel has dropped back to the last place <laughs> Close 
closer and closer to the rear wing yeah. of the Nini's, applying some pressure, maybe hoping that uh, the driver in front of him will get a little distracted in the mirrors and make a mistake in one of those heavy braking zones as they come down now to turn number 11. Let's check on McElroy who started second, he's still back in fifth, Rasmussen fourth, Simpson third. Here comes one and two right now off of turn 14 to the Yard of Bricks. Let's see if he's still closing that gap. Oh, yes, he is. off of Simpson now in fourth place and uh, being challenged there by Hunter McElray who again uh, has fallen back some since the start but seems to have stabilized in that fifth position. Running sixth still is Josh Green in the three. Seventh place is James Rowe Jr. in the uh, 29 machine. Eighth is Rasmus Lynn in car 76 and Jacob Abel runs in ninth position in the 51. <laughs> issues that, uh, that he had in that last lap that we saw the replay of. But uh, Michael Ray right there in that 27 Smart Motors for Andretti Autosport, hanging with him. Plenty of time left to make that move. Halfway. Well, we are past halfway in this one. As the leaders come down to the yard of bricks, they'll complete the 19th lap. Of
rival for the title at the moment, the point leader Christian Rasmussen, is running in fourth position on the track. Following the 26 car, Foster, Louis Foster trying to maintain pace and try to catch that leader who's up to 1.3 second lead, back to 1.3. And lost a little more ground on that last lap by. Simpson now six seconds back in third. Rasmussen is 11 seconds back in fourth. I'll tell you a lot of credit to Matteo Nanini if you look at some of the lap times. as perhaps Foster's yeah. pace has fallen off a little bit. Yeah. Here he is coming onto the track. Made straight away. That's the race leader on the video board. And then... as a, a race driver in a developmental series, time is the least thing you have. Good point. Yeah, he's a quick learner. He's done a great job. So there he is across the yard of bricks now. Three-time champion of the W Series, her first year racing here in Indianapolis in the United States. Race leader across the
That doesn't make your tires very happy when you do that to them. I'm sure Foster saw that. And said, oh, and he's uh, trying, to, trying to get as close as he can and keep the pressure on. Here they come off of turn number 11 into 12. 10 to go at the line. 10 to go. Next time by. Boy, he's right there now. That got tight in a hurry, didn't it? Here they come onto the main straightaway. They'll get to 10 to go. Signal from atop the flag stand as they flash down the two. Second place to close a lot of the gap. Nice and clean this time. Look at the lead. It's down to four tenths of a second. The lead is four tenths. is Louis Foster from England. The scholarship winner for the Indy Next Series. Showing his way. Oh, that's right. He won at IMS last year. So let's see if he can win in the Indy Next Series. Making a push. Nanini trying to hold him off. Here they come now to nine laps to go. Stabilized the gap a little bit by about five hundredths of a second. He is Simpson. So, barring a yellow flag or a full course yellow, it's these two drivers that are going to settle it between them. Does Foster have enough time and enough power to make a move with eight to go in the line? Last time by five tenths of a second. Half a second is the lead. Look at that.
So Nanini has 52 seconds left. Alright, pretty close. That's fantastic. This is gonna get really interesting here as we get to six to go. So the push to pass, 52 for the race leader and 45 for Foster. Who's that off the pace? Tim Carr has slowed. That's Reese Gold. Yep. Off the pace. There's a problem with that. Corner of the wing. Maybe he's had some contact somewhere. is unwelcome to be there. That's tightened up a good bit over the last couple yeah. of laps. You think it was an end plate or did yeah. it look well, more like a turn? I'll look again. Off of turn back. 14. He's going to have out. five to go. He's just loose flopping Big around. Big there from Rasmussen. Here's McElroy drawing alongside Ooh. into right hand turn 11. Now left hand turn.
this time. What is going to happen here? This is turn 11. Off to 12 here. Here they come, off of turn 14, down to the main straightaway. All There's right, slip. Two to go, two to go. Foster had a little bubble there, it cost him some gas. <laughs> Next time by, they'll get the white flag. Half a second with the lead. Watching the race leader right up front, Mateo Benini in that black. standing by with that white flag. This is wild, isn't it? Here they come for the final time. Off of turn number 14 now. One more lap to go in the race. The white flag is out. Nice the top line. two are going to settle the bumper. This time, into three, the big sweeper here. Let's follow. The Four seconds of push to pass lock, baby. 